Hi everyone and welcome to episode 149 of Saranova Crafts. I'm your host Jessica. I can be found as Saranova on Ravelry and Twitter and as Saranova Crafts on Instagram. Um, I don't think there's going to be any show notes for today, um, but if you want to see past episode show notes, those are on my blog. Links down below. Uh, they're also on Ravelry. Um, links down below if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, I'm just going to get right into it. It has been two months since I recorded an episode. It's been a long time. I guess people probably figured this podcast was dead. Um, I'm hoping to resurrect it. <laughs> um, that's the best way I can I can say this. Um, over the summer, and, well, into August and September, because I think the last time I recorded an episode was in July? Um, July, which was, when did I post that episode? Um, when did I post you? Come on. Come on, YouTube. Tell me when I posted this. Uh, pfft, it's not telling me when I posted this. Um, but anyways, it's been a while. Um, episode 148 went up a long time ago. <laughs> uh, it went up, when did it go up? According to YouTube, because I have my phone right here and I'm looking it up like a silly person. Um, come on, pause. This one was published on August 16th, so actually not quite two months. It'll be two months in a few weeks. It's more like a month and a half since I posted an episode. Um, but, uh, uh... We're in the busy season at the synagogue in terms of um, our year. Um, we have three holidays in September and one the first week of October. So basically, last week was Rosh Hashanah, yesterday was Yom Kippur, so this week. Next week is Sukkot, and then after that is Simchat Torah. And then I can breathe. <laughs> so it's, it's been crazy. Um, so basically, after I posted the episode in August, my free time evaporated. I was pulling overtime at the shul, getting everything ready for the high holidays, and it was just, it was a lot, it's been a lot of work and very crazy times, and just, you know, I just didn't, f I would come home and I'd be like, I should record, and then I wouldn't record. And my schedule's still in flux, um, like I'm recording this on a Thursday afternoon, I'm not going to be able to record on Thursday afternoon next week, because I have to be at work at this time of day, so I might record Thursday morning, I'm not sure. My schedule's been in flux since... Like, it's been in flux for a while, so... But this podcast isn't dead. I'm planning to record again. Um, I'm going to be going to the Ren Fair the final weekend of September, so the 29th I'm going to the Ren Fair. Um, I'm going to be at Rhinebeck. I'm definitely going to be at Rhinebeck. My cabin is paid for. I just need to get my ticket, which I'm planning to do next week when I get paid. And I get my next paycheck, you know, because yay, every two-week cycle. Right? Um... When I get my next paycheck, I am going to get the tickets going for both days, Saturday and Sunday, because we discovered last year that we could still do Sunday, and if we left by like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we were home by dinner. Or at least I was home by dinner. The friend I came with, Jen, a.k.a. Storm Coast, um, took, a little, took her a little longer to get home. But, you know, relatively home back in our home state, you know, by dinner time. So um, we're going to do that again. Um, that Friday is still a little up in the air because I'm thinking I can get it off from work, but I might work some of the day, in which case Jen will just keep me company at the synagogue. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, it's it's going to be a little up in the air. But then the weekend afterwards, I may or may not be going to SAF. Um, but that would be to work the show, not to attend the show. So more info coming on that once everything's figured out. Um, in other news, I want to say Shana Tova to everyone and a Happy New Year. May it be a sweet and a healthy one. Um, because this is the Jews, Jews big time of year is now. So it's our New Year's. So Happy New Year, everyone. May it be a healthy and a sweet one. Um, you know, to everyone who's been affected by Florence, you know, I hope, you know, everything's going better for you now. It's been a few days. Um, we got hit by rain here the last couple of days. Um, Tuesday of this week absolutely swamped. It made me wish I owned galoshes. Like, I didn't own galoshes and own galoshes. Other news. Uh, we now have three cats. Uh, one of whom is not ours permanently. So we still have Zoe and Confetti. And they are with us. They are Kevin and I's cats. But we are now keeping a friend's cat um, for probably about a year. Um because he's currently in a living situation where he can't have the cat with him. So we now have Nibbler. So if you follow me on Instagram, I'm hoping to start posting more on Instagram because I haven't posted in ages and ages on Instagram. It's been forever since I made a post. I think I posted the hala I baked right before Rosh Hashanah. I think that's it. 
Oh, no, the last post I made was Nibbler, and that was September 6th. So I really should be more active on Instagram again. I didn't even post the hala. I should post the hala I baked. It actually came out really good. I was really proud of the bread I baked. Um, but anyways, you are here for knitting. Um, I have zero foes since the last time I recorded. Um, I have not really knit a whole lot because I've just been really tired and it's been really hot and humid and that makes me not want to knit. The summer months are really slow for me for knitting. But um, I do have some progress on a couple of things and I have a project I'm going to be casting on, but I have no stash. Um, so I'm just going to talk about what I've been working on. So the baby blanket I'm making for my former Tivana manager, um, she actually had the baby. She was induced um, a few days ago. She was induced over the weekend. So um, I was if you notice, the pattern has changed. So I was doing a much more complicated like lace and cable pattern and then I had the thought of, oh wait, tiny baby, small fingers. Lace is probably bad because little fingers can get caught in lace and I don't want him to get hurt by the blanket. So I switched to a very simple, um, this is a free pattern on Ravelry. I cannot remember what it's called right now, but it's just a simple um, stockinette and garter uh, thing and it's just you know it's gonna be like a like a stroller blanket so it's not gonna be super wide it'll block out a little bit it'll probably be about this wide when it's blocked so it's a little less wide right now because you know the it's pulling in but um but yeah so I ripped out the blanket I had been working on now I'm working on this one and my goal is to get it finished by the end of next week and in the mail to them um I also I don't have it within reach here because I didn't think to grab it but I have some cotton in a purple that I know she likes, and um, I'm making her some washcloths. I'm, I'm knitting her some cotton washcloths that she can use. So that's this project. That's how the baby blanket's going. It came out, and I'm doing a different pattern because I realized the pattern I was doing was just not going to work. So I cast on socks because I realized I needed a simple purse project because I didn't really have anything. Everything is, was more complicated and needed more concentration than like sitting in a car passenger seat could give me. So I haven't really got very far on these. I cast these on on September 1st while I was at my cousin's house for my cousin's daughter's birthday. She turned three. She is my grandmother's youngest great-grandchild. Uh, my grandmother has four grandchildren and five great-grandchildren. So grandma's, and she's 97. Grandma's, grandma's doing good. So I cast on, these are going to be socks. So here it is. This is, if I have it, this is Molly Girl Yarn in the Baseline Base in the colorway Mission Bells. So that's what this is. I got this two years ago, three years ago. Uh, the last time I went to Stitches United. No, the second to last time I went to Stitches United. So that would be two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. I'm trying to think. Um, I was going to use this for another project and then I wasn't, then I decided to not do that project. So this has been caked up and redone a few times, but I'm happy how it's turning out here in the sock. It is sock yarn. Um, I, what I am debating is because I've not yet finished the toe. I am debating whether doing another uh, Hermione every day because this is a speckled yarn or just doing straight stocking net. I will make up my mind by the time I finish the toe, but I haven't finished the toe yet. So haven't made up my mind yet. I'm leaning towards Hermione because I actually really like how that pattern turned out on the socks I knit, so I think I might do another Hermione pair. I'm leaning towards Hermione. It's like a 70-30 split right now between Hermione and Vanilla. We'll see. We'll see what happens when I finish the toe. And lastly, I have another project that I'm going to cast on. I'm going to start the Barley Light Hat. It is the fingering weight version of the Barley Hat that everyone and their mother has probably heard of. It's by Tin Can Knits, which did the original Barley Hat. This is the fingering version. It's free on Ravelry. Um, so I'm not giving anything away by showing you the pattern. I am probably going to do the large size because I knit tight, though I am planning to go up on needle size. It's the cat. I'm planning to go up on the needle size because I knit tightly, so maybe I will do the size I'm supposed to do for my head because I measured my head. And I should be an adult small. But I knit tightly, but I'm going up a needle size. Because you need a two and a four. A two for the brim, a four for the body of the hat. So I'm going to use a three and a five. So I'm guessing I could actually do the size my head measurement says if I go up a needle size. But gauge doesn't matter too much on the hat, so should be good. Um, 
but and this is like a very beginner hat but the reason I'm doing this is because one of my friends another just the same Jen I mentioned earlier a who goes by Storm Coast on Ravelry she had a podcast I don't know if she's still recording it or not um, but she and I both have skeins of this yarn so this is Unicorns in Space by Fiber Stash Dye Works on the Twinkle Toes sock base. I bought this not I bought this yarn not knowing what I was gonna look at that. Isn't that like crazy colors? Super fun? Yeah. So I bought this yarn not knowing what I was gonna do with it. Leaning towards really cat. Cat's digging a hole to China in the litter box. Like I need that right now, right? Really, confetti? Really? Really? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we both have a skein of this yarn. She had been in the group Facebook chat today, which I have with a bunch of other people, um, talking about what she wanted to do with her skein, and she had suggested this hat pattern. She had suggested the barley light. She had suggested this. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. Oh, I think I have a skein of that yarn. I checked my stash. Hey, I do have a skein of that yarn. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna make the hat. And then of course she changes her mind and she's gonna make a cowl, but I don't like cowl, so I'm still going to make the hat. But we're going to be yarn twinsies and we're each going to have a project made out of the same yarn. So when I'm done recording, I am going to uh, wind this up probably by hand because I'm too lazy to go get my ball winder. <laughs> I'm being lazy. I don't want to go get my ball winder. So I'm going to wind this up and cast on the hat. So maybe I will post some pictures of that on Instagram because I should post stuff. I should be active, right? That makes sense, right? Um, I still have the Discord server. Nobody's really in there, but please come say hi. There's a link in the description of this video on YouTube for, to the Discord server. Um, come say hi. It's free and open for everyone to talk. If you want to be nerdy with me, talk about anime, um, particu particular, blah, 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 blah. I particularly like Sailor Moon, if you haven't figured that out from previous episodes. Um, and yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for watching. Likes, comments, shares, all of that jazz, um, upvotes, whatever, you know, are all super appreciated, but are not necessary. Comments are nice because it makes people, because it, you know, people makes blah, blah, blah. Comments are nice. I can't talk today either. Comments are nice because then I know people have watched this and I'm not just putting this into the ether for nobody to see. Um, but honestly, you don't have to, like, it's totally fine. Um, I'm not doing this to be famous. I'm not doing this to make money off of advertising. My videos aren't even monetized because I don't even have that many followers. You need like a thousand followers on YouTube and I don't have that. Um, I do these more just for myself because I found that I enjoy doing them and I found that it's a way to keep myself accountable in my knitting. And that's probably part of the reason why I haven't recorded is because I haven't been knitting. And so I feel like I can't share anything with you guys if there's nothing to share. So really, I do this more for me, and I hope that other people enjoy it. Um, I like to pretend I'm talking to a person, so I hope there's somebody watching this. Like I said, likes, subscriptions, comments are all appreciated, but are not necessary in the least. Thank you for watching. I wish you a Shana Tova again, which means a good year. Hope you, like I said, I hope it is a sweet one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!